and welcome back to the channel. This is Season 3, Episode 3 of The Mandalorian. So last episode, we saw the Mythosaur. Um, you know, I feel like we're leading to the idea of Bo-Katan, like, eventually being the leader of Mandalore. And not Din. I know a lot of people are speculating that Din is going to be the person to kind of, like, galvanize and bring all the Mandalorians back to each other. I just don't feel like that's going to be the case for him. I don't know if that's his journey. I don't know if he's honestly the leader type. I mean... Bo-Katan obviously saved him twice in the last episode. And you know, if you really go back and go through like the Mandalorian, Din's been saved by other people a lot, inc including Grogu. Yeah, and now that he has Grogu with him like full time, I guess. Like, full custody, <laughs> He's got custody, yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like his journey is probably going to be more towards Grogu. Mm -hmm. um, the, I think I talked about this a little bit in the last episode because Grogu is still very baby. Yeah. So I don't know if it's like something he still needs to kind of unlock his his like memories like his for maybe his training from yeah. when he was in Coruscant or what or if he just really does need to grow up a little longer because you know the Yoda, the Yoda species lives so so long I think so he was like 900 yeah, something when he so died yeah so 50 would be very very young so he probably does have a way to go potentially to get to like what uh, maybe like a, a toddler I don't really know See, I mean I thing. feel like he's probably like maybe uh, this is just me spitballing, and this is like an arbitrary number, but maybe like 5 to 10 or something like within that age. And I, I know that like you should younger. be able to talk. I don't know, not at 50, though. But 50 is out of 900? I know, but I, I'm not going to do that freaking math right now, <laughs> like on camera. But I just feel like, okay, here's another if he idea. If 5 or 10, he would be talking a lot more. Well, I mean, what do you that's, know about his species? That's like, true. What if Order 66 traumatized him that's where true. he hasn't like started talking and he can talk? He was obviously able to communicate with Ahsoka last season. Uh through the force, I guess. Um, so, I don't know. Like, I know in the trailer, we saw a little snippet of, like, the Order 66 moment, and we saw that initial snippet in the Book of Boba Fett when Grogu popped up there. I feel like at that point in time, maybe it'll be a situation where we find out. I, he has to talk at some point. He like, has to. Like, obviously, well, but, like... Well, Ahsoka did say that he had closed himself off from mm -hmm. the Force to protect himself. Yeah. So that could be a lot of it. And also, if he was kind of in hiding this whole time, he probably didn't really get ta ta taught how yeah. to talk. You know, like, he probably... Yeah. I don't know who... He didn't really who have a caretaker. With? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, did he have a primary caretaker? What was he doing? That's what I really want to know yeah. about. Well, I feel like, you know, when it comes to Grogu, in that, which I feel like, you know, that's probably going to be like the B plot of this this season, where this like yeah. the A plot is like, you know, getting the Mandalorians mm -hmm. back together is kind of like starting anew for Mandalore. But I feel like, you know, I am interested in that. Like, I, I don't really know who's going to be fighting who. Is it going to be a situation where Bo-Katan's going to be going up against like the armorer, but then it's also like uniting like the factions, I feel like is like the ultimate goal. So I don't really know what's going to happen there, but I feel like they're going to like battle with somebody. Mm -hmm. Like the Mandalorians I feel like are just going to fight somebody at some point in time but yeah the the whole Grogu storyline is what I really want to know and I know there's always speculation about who could have saved him whether it's Mace Windu coming in there with <laughs> one on, one hand or a Barris I know is another yeah. example some people said like maybe uh, the Emperor himself could it be Darth Maul because Darth Maul was or I guess Maul sorry not Darth Maul he like threw away that name whether oh, that yeah. be Maul um, or maybe another Jedi I, I really don't know, but like, you know, I feel like everyone's like grand hope is like, oh, Mace Windu. Mace Windu, like yeah. bring him back, you know. And as cute and as much as I love Grogu as his little baby self, <laughs> I really do want him to grow a little more. Uh, like, and he has shown growth in the Force. Yeah. But I think that, you know, he can't stay a baby forever. And I feel like eventually he's going to have to grow up and grow because yeah. at the end of the day, he's going to outlive Din by <laughs> <gonna> significant. <laughs> outlive everyone. <laughs> So like we're, I feel like we're gonna have to see his his journey yeah. kind of start to speed up a little more. And I'm not really like super complaining about it or anything yeah. because he's like he's so cute and I I do love the father kind of child dynamic here. But I do think that he needs to start kind of growing a little more. I feel with Grogu, he is going to be the focus of Star Wars, in my opinion. If they were smart, you know, the creators of Star Wars and just people associated with like the brand. Because he can, like, project out into 500 years from now, mm -hmm. 600 years, yeah. like, any number mm -hmm. of time. And he'll remember everything from yeah. this whole past. And he could, like, retell stories from Which, a I, long time ago. I think ago. I heard, like, an idea of, like, oh, what if this is Grogu telling the story to somebody else? Oh, that'd you know? be so cool. And, like, he uh -huh. has, like, his own Jedi Order, like, yeah. 200 years or 300 years from yeah. now. And he's just, like, saying, like, oh, this is a story of my father. And, you know, it'd be really cool if there was, like, an element of him becoming a Mandalorian as well mm -hmm. as a Jedi. And having both of those, like, kind of... Do 
doing what like the initial Mandalore did, um, I feel like would be really cool. I still feel like it'd be really cool for him to have his own dark saber. I know it's probably not going to be this dark saber just because of the size of the damn thing. You know what I was surprised at because it just went over my head. Um, a lot of people are shipping Bo-Katan and Din. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Is that going to be a thing? Do you think that? Did you get that little vibe? I kind of got a, like the vibe, but I wasn't like, oh, let's do it. No. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I, I just... I just... I don't... I don't I you don't. know what I will say? I feel like there was a little bit of a motherly aspect with yes. Grogu, though. So, I mean, based off of that, I think, maybe. I think what really was going on... And this is just my personal opinion. I mean, obviously, I could be completely wrong misreading the situation. I think Bo-Katan was seeing Din as kind of like just bringing back memories of her people and mm -hmm. just kind of what she lost. Like, the, just their old ways. Seeing how he was like, this is the way. Like, to her father dying for Mandalore. Yeah. And just like seeing him go back into the waters. I think it kind of reignited her, like it reignited a light inside of her for yeah. Mandalore. Maybe like sparked her to well, want to she kinda, salvage it again. She kind of talked about everything like they were just like, oh, they were just stories told to us as children yeah. and stuff. Like, oh yeah, I went into the waters. But, you know, seeing that mythosaur, she obviously, I mean, we she had her helmet on, but there was like that stop moment. There was that moment with Din talking about her father too, like kind of praising him, you know, for sacrificing himself for like the people of Mandalore. There is in my mind, a situation where she's going to kind of like kind of revert back and maybe have that like oomph to want to push forward. And that's kind of why I feel like she will ultimately end up being the leader of Mandalore at some point in time. Obviously, she can handle the Darksaber. Now, there's a whole situation about how she's going to do that. Um, you know, she didn't win it in combat. That was the whole issue, I guess, of the first time when Sabine gave it to her. I freaking Din offered it to her in the last season and she turned it down for that very reason. Is the Mythosaur going to mean something different? Like, the fact that the Mythosaur is out there, is that going to be enough to galvanize people? Are you going to have to ride the Mythosaur? Or what is exactly going to happen with that? I, I think, like, the the prophecy was, like, if you tame the person who... Whoever they were talking about, like, tamed the mytho, Mythosaur. Yeah. And became, like, the leader of Mandalore. So it's mm. like, are we going to tame... Which, this is another thing. Is neither it about here the nor there. Thing? It's about the oh sinking thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm talking about it. There, everybody, there's like two different types of people yeah. right now saying either he sunk to the bottom or he got pulled by a creature. But logically, <laughs> which I, I don't know, it could be either way, but yeah. logically, how did he fall so quickly if yeah. he only fell and bo had to go in with her jetpack and everything to catch him when he was like all the way here and she was like, here, how did he and like fall that bad? I just don't understand the physics. He did not fucking just fall. Like, he was pulled. You know, Whether it was by the Mythosaur or by somebody else or something else, I should say, that was in the waters as well. Well, he was pulled. He was like, oh, because also oh God, he, was, he was, he was, <laughs> he was incapacitated. Yeah. Like if you started to sink and like, oh shit, my best car is Wouldn't he drowning. Say you're like, fuck, I'm gonna take this shit off and I'm gonna try and swim my ass up to but the top. I think it's like more so. He fell so fast, and bo had to use her jetpack to even catch him when yeah. he was already at the bottom. Like, she she had Beskar, too. I don't know so, if it, is it, like, fully... I think the helmets are best. I don't honestly know, because she, she didn't had, have full she Beskar. She had armor, you know? though, yeah. so, like, wouldn't she have fallen quickly, too? I mean, he might have fell, and I'm just overthinking it, <laughs> but I just, like, I had to say it because I just didn't understand. There was a crap ton of comments saying that he clearly just fell because he, like, overtook a step, and, like, you know, his weight just brought him yeah. down. And I was just thinking, like... That was what you thought? Like, for me, like, it was initially, like, he it got pulled. It looked like he, like, got pulled, like, jaw style. It was style, so quick, like, yeah. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think he fell, or do you think he got pulled? Yeah, let us know in the comments, <laughs> but, I mean, come on, he got pulled. You see this episode, he's like, dang, I fell. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, dang. We can, like, disprove it, and just, like, you know, egg on our face, like, the first minute or so. It's like, yeah. damn it, I really should have watched my step. <laughs> if, if they say it, I will admit defeat. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get into it. You know, not to, like, you know get hope, but there's no Kylo Ren helmet there anymore, even though I like Kylo Ren. They could have wrote him a little bit better, but, you know, I like the concept of Kylo Ren. Did you get pulled? Look at Grogu! <laughs> huh. I am redeemed. I witnessed it. You bathed in the living water. So did she. You yeah, are but she yeah. didn't say the words, though. But no. he didn't even finish his words, so I guess it counts. Oh, here's our proof. Could this be any yeah, I know, like... Are y'all gonna have, like, a <laughs> test strip? What is it? You see anything down there? Are you not gonna tell him? I saw the chasm passing me as I fell. Oh my god, he fell. He fell! Oh my gosh. He fell! He didn't get pulled! Yeah. We, were just, <laughs> <laughs> we just L plus ratioed ourselves. Yeah. 
Did you see anything alive? Alive? Like what? Maybe he thinks he fell, and it was actually because he How didn't did you, see the creature that pulled him. Because he doesn't know about the creature. How did you fall that fast and she did it? It doesn't make sense. I guess she's just not gonna tell Din about him. Yeah. With no Moff Gideon, theoretically, like, you know, if he's in prison, if somebody didn't break him out or anything like that, who's in charge of them? Mm -hmm. Thrawn, right? Mm. I don't know why they'd be after him. Warlords. Okay, maybe not. We'll see. Are they still after Grogu? I mean, you would think. Because don't they need him? Whoa. Well, that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool, yeah. Dang! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, he still fell. He didn't quite stick the landing. Yeah. Oh, playing chicken. Oh, that was pretty cool. It's just so cool to get like some actual like chase scenes uh -huh. that are actually cool. They work well together. Yeah. Maybe it's like a Mandalorian thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you get extreme turbulence. He like checked on R5. <laughs> Hang on. What's going on? Uh oh. I'm seeing something on the scope. Who else? <gasps> oh, what is that? Are they blowing up her castle? <gasps> Oh, I feel like they. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're bombing it. Oh my goodness. The bombers. Oh, this is such a beautiful like countryside I too. Oh. oh, it's gonna be kind of easy. Oh, is there something else? <laughs> what else? Oh, no? there's a whole bunch oh, more. Oh no. Bo, we've got company. Bo, She's too focused on taking them out. You also got Grogu in the back, so you're not just risking your own life. Oh my goodness. Can we like seatbelt R5 or something? <laughs> Should be like be magnetized. He's like supposed to be able to go out on the, <laughs> the like ships and stuff like that to go fix things. Yeah. Some place they won't find us. Where won't they find us? <laughs> that was a good intro. Yeah. It's cool to see some some fighting again. The chase scenes were cool. The yeah. Convert. <gasps> Is this okay. Corazon? I mean, we haven't this seen is like live action Coruscant. Of course, that's my favorite prequels. place. It's Star Wars. It's still the background on your phone, right? Yes. You have your phone on you? No. Okay, well, the, it's it the is. background oh on my phone. Oh my gosh, I love Coruscant. The amnesty program saved my life. There the guy. Of us who had no choice in okay, so the freaking clone <laughs> guy. Sadly, my research was twisted into something cruel and inhumane at the behest of a desperate individual. Intent on using cloning technology to secure more power for himself. But despite the shameful work of my past, I now hope to help the New Republic in whatever way I can. I assure you that my original intentions were good. I lost my mother. Her heart gave out. Had simple organ cloning been available uh, on my So is that why he got into cloning? Probably, yeah. Would have been easily preventable. What my work this is like a Star Wars TED talk. Of combining multiple strands to create replicas that incorporated the best genetic attributes oh. of both donors. Ooh. So, so he perfected like, it. So how is he going to relate <laughs> to the story to that's the going story. on? Now. It's yeah. got, you know, something about Like are they heading to Coruscant yeah. to hide here? Or is it or just is it we're just following him? About now? Grogu's DNA, like Somebody's gonna interact with him, whether it's Din and uh Bo Katan or somebody else, but I don't feel like you're done being used just yet. Amnesty officer M34. I wonder if they're still loyalists here, you know? Yeah. Amnesty scientist L52. This is G27. It's weird mm -hmm. that they all have numbers. M40. And letters. G68. What's up with you, G68? Doctor. You... I don't know. Maybe it's right. just the, the music. The music has <laughs> something. I'd like to see anyone from Moff Gideon's ship. Oh. Oh, had we seen her before? Gideon. I didn't know you worked mm, for him. That's why the music. I heard he escaped en route to the War Tribune. Oh! No, that was just the cover story. I heard they hooked him up to a oh, so we don't, all just, yeah. We don't know what happened to him? I try not to think about him anymore. Mm, I feel like you're in cahoots. Thanks to the rehabilitation program, I can contribute to the new republic. Lies, I don't trust you. Have you taken in the sights on Coruscant, Doctor? No, I, I haven't had the time. I'd be happy to show you. Mm, she just wants to get you alone. And not for that reason. <laughs> or are they just trying to like rehabilitate themselves? Like, I don't trust her. Because it's called the convert, you know, so mm -hmm. like. Miss? From before. 
No, I I'm glad that the Empire is... Oh, not like that. Of course, good riddance. I mean, more like the everyday stuff, like the food. Maybe those uh, yellow travel biscuits from the Russian <laughs> pass. <laughs> oh, I don't think you can get those on the core worlds. Uh, no, you can't. Gotta say, though, I like the red ones. Mmm. Mm. Okay. I feel like it's just like he's making friends again, you know? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think? think in his mind, he's like trying to come to grips with the idea of it, right, but like, somebody okay. is going to use him, whether it's her, she's still working for Moff Gideon, or Thrawn, you know? What's going on? Was, Told you, something's this, about to happen. These angles are making me get stressed. Purposeful stress angles. <laughs> stress angles? Someone's gonna take you. So they don't like, have, kidnap like, you. peepholes here? He was like all excited for his life in the New Republic. Oh. The biscuits! The, that the was biscuits her. he was, yeah. How'd you get those? <laughs> Probably because she's still working for the Empire. <laughs> he was like, this is all we sent you for this mission. I was gonna say maybe that they're going to um, like try and like butter him up as opposed to like, hey, force you to do this, you know. It's so bureaucratic. Good morning, L52. Happy Bindu Day. Thank you. God, I had no idea you were so experienced. Wonder why the heavy down here. I'll let you get back to it. Thank you again. Yeah. This remind me of like when uh, NASA took in Nazi scientists after World War II. <laughs> <laughs> but if he's so experienced with that, why is he like down there? Well, I mean, I guess well, he's not gonna be cloning anything right now, right? A lot of people like. I, why did they make him give a presentation in front of everyone? Is it like do all people have like, to do that, I or just to, because like, he was like head of so cloning? So important and. It's just dumb. She's using you, bro. People. I'm giving benefit of the doubt. I am not. I am so skeptical of everyone. I don't trust anyone. The only reason I trust him is because he's so unsure of himself. And he wouldn't be acting like that yeah, yeah, when he was no. by himself. <laughs> like if he had a mission or ulterior motives. I do think about that sometimes. All of my research. Mm. Oh, don't have an arc. Don't have a dark side arc. Some incredible breakthroughs. Just be like, let's go do it. Discoveries could have helped Finish a lot of people. It. So why not continue? Oh, I'm telling I don't you, know. she's buttering him up. But if it could help the New Republic, isn't that important enough? Mm. Yeah, this is sus. Orders blindly is how we got in trouble in the first place. You're manipulating. Sometimes you have to trust your gut. Do we really want to bring back cloning? We know what happened last time we did that. Best. <laughs> we started a war. <laughs> why are we going with his arc? Yeah. Do you still find your current housing situation comfortable? Are you able to maintain a consistent schedule? I'm like, what are your allegiances? Continuing. Can I ask a question? Proceed. If I were to pursue my own mm. research, would that be allowed? That class of research is expressly prohibited by the Chorus and Accords, Section 13, Accords. Subparagraph 7. My apologies. I'm conflicted because I don't like the government telling you what to do either. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to close. I know it's important, and in the hands of the New Republic, it can actually be used for good. I just need to prove it. Sounds like you want to continue it. Why do I feel like this is how we're gonna get Snoke? I hope not. I don't want to get Snoke. I want to forget about not Snoke. Not much to get started. Um, some supplies, a mobile lab station. It's a silly idea. I know it is, but I really Stop. believe that. You want to help the New Republic? They just can't see it yet. This guy is way too trusting. We can get you a mobile lab station. Oh my gosh! You like have this prepared. We can get you. But it would require going outside our designated perimeter. She's so full of shit. No, I can't. I feel like this is all plotted. Like, get in his good graces, get him to clone for us. Buy him a fucking popsicle. But if your research really is as important as you say, I'll take that risk. So they're probably gonna end up using Grogu's DNA or something. I mean, that maybe. was the initial thought. You right? Because remember that weird, that thing that happened? Because of his abilities and his species. Did, what, and... Didn't he have like midichlorians out the wazoo or something? Well, Anakin had higher, but I remember like the whole thing when they tested um, yeah. Anakin, they were like, not even Master Yoda has a midichlorian mm -hmm. count that high. He had big midichlorian energy. <laughs> have you experienced any feelings of anger or resentment towards the New Republic government yes. or its representatives? Oh, that little Apologies. what he was doing it's earlier. It's like a tick. Have you That's what it is. Any feelings of anger or resentment? No. Thank you for continuing to. Our main objective is to help the Republic, right? This thing is so easy to Correct. lie to. And that supersedes everything else. No, oh, he's finding a loophole. Yeah. Have a nice day. Honestly, Doctor Pershing. The freaking um, like New Republic 
kind of sucks. <laughs> like they, they're not really intricate and like meticulous with their job. If they put this little droid in charge of like you know yeah. the screenings that you could just easily lie to. Here we go. We're gonna go clone the mobile lab station. Let's go get it. Good. Tomorrow night. Let's see how she acts when the doors are closed by herself. I'm not getting that yet. Helping the new republic. Whatever you have to tell yourself. It's the right thing to do. Oh. Oh my gosh. They're gonna freaking make Snoke, and then they're gonna freaking make Rey a Skywalker, and then they're gonna kill <laughs> Kylo Ren! <laughs> Sorry, I'm unhinged. It's like 2.30 in the morning. I'm hoping like it's like a, a Thrawn order, you know? Yeah. We slip in, grab what you need, and we're back at Amnesty Housing before you know it. Don't you do like a Have lot? Have done this before? Or do you think I got the biscuits? You did <laughs> it risk for it biscuits. for the biscuits! <laughs> you really did risk you it for the biscuits! For the oh biscuits. We're gonna jump! How do you like live? Down? Like honestly, that is going way too fast. Trust me. Are you? Can you use the force? How are you gonna do this? Let's see how they hit the ground. Like, are you a Sith? Like, what's going on? That's slowing down now. So. Oh, okay. Okay, so we just jumped. No okay. force. There's nothing she could do to make me trust her. Oh, look at that. It's kind of crazy to see it in like a like a junkyard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ships are all inoperable. No need to guard them. You know she... so much yeah. about all this. Like, do you come here once a week? Like, <laughs> I... why there be like a whole little secret I was empire gonna... meeting <laughs> here? Yeah. Like, welcome to our society. The empath. The empath. <laughs> I was gonna say the empire sympathizers. <laughs> yeah. I said the empathizers. <laughs> There's the, this is like seems very premeditated. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna get off. I said this that side. from the beginning they were trying I was to like in with honey. I was like they're just trying to move on, move on, <laughs> move past. It all started with biscuits. Oh, uh, that's just the bug. Roly poly oly. It's eating a biscuit. Elia Kane, communications off. Elia Kane. Eli okay, we have a name for you. Elia. Not numbers. This looks pristine. Like this got taken mm. care of. Perfect. Like we've been waiting. This was also inoperable. Like, those little fucking bugs are eating all the other wires, yeah. but not in this freaking room. Like, it got swept and wiped down and uh. dusted. I remember the first time I was in a place like this. I couldn't believe I'd made it. My mother was a doctor in the town where I grew up. I would spend days in her office dreaming Aww, of a lab like dude, this. I feel like you're getting taken advantage of, and I kind of feel bad for you. <laughs> you always knew what you wanted Got taken advantage of once before, and here we go again. As far back as I can remember. What did you want to be when you grew up? It's gonna be something crazy. I oh, have a to think about. I'm still working for the Empire. <laughs> oh, it's oh, somebody. Oh, oh. oh maybe not. Oh, I. Just the ship no, ship. she's fucking hiding things. What the hell is this? Who the hell is this? This has to be Republic, then. It, it better yeah. be someone cool if we're hyping it up this much. If it's but, like like, like it, a little it, tiny creepy crawly roly poly, I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> she's running. So if yeah. it was like. Like Empire, unless she right. doesn't want him to see yeah. that it's Empire, that he doesn't get suspicious that you know she's manipulating him. Okay, who found us? Mm. Okay, this is a Republic. Republic. Well, that sucks. My name is Pen. She got kill caught him. on the first day. If she does have the Force. Why do I feel like she might be a Sith? Wait. Ish. What? Oh! Was this a? Was this like a trap, like to see if he would to do it? Maybe. Oh my gosh, you think they like like trick people to see if they really are still working for the Empire? Maybe. Or loyal? Yeah, still? possibly. Oh my gosh, that's what it was. Raise your hands up. It was a setup. That seems like weird though, because it's like you talk to. I guess it's to see if they would do it, like if they could be easily manipulated to do yeah. something. Good morning, Doctor. Listen. That's crazy. I, I wasn't trying. No need. Amnesty officer G68 has already submitted a report. Oh, <laughs> whoa! A liar! Are they gonna do like some torture shit? I was here to help you. Indoctrination by the Empire is challenging to So overcome. we're gonna indoctrinate you. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is this gonna be is like, like elect Orwellian. Yeah. Like, this is totally like. This is a 602 mitigator. It's a non-invasive experimental treatment recently approved for rehabilitation. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh. I don't know. I don't. This is like straight not, out of 1984. I'm not vibing with the New Republic. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about the New 
Republic. I mean, the old Republic had its problems too, so we need something different. Experience a great sense of relief in no time at all. You're gonna wipe my mind. This Absolutely is like not. This isn't the Empire. The side. Ministry of Love. This device is used to heal. I've been through the treatment myself, in fact, and I found the experience quite refreshing. Oh my goodness! I was just trying to help. This will only take a moment. I'll be here when you wake uh. up. You don't understand. She brought me there. It was a trap. <laughs> Please, she set me up. You set me up. Oh, that was savage. I know. I just really thought she was working for the like, I totally, I remnants never of the realized. Empire. I totally never would have realized that was like plot twist. Yeah. I mean, I knew I didn't trust her, but I thought Not it was like, like it was yeah. to, to catch people. Like I know this will help him. That was quite interesting. I will say. You are a real credit to this program. It's nice to know that for every failure, or there's a success. it's double agent like, type. Yeah. There might be double She's agent. like using this to go up the ranks yeah. because she's still working for somebody else. This should offer him some relief. The fuck is it about to do? Uh, it's gonna make him be like, I am New Republic. Uh -huh. Shall we? Do you mind if I stay? Oh my gosh, you like to watch it? What the fuck? What is like? Oh, oh. You have like big Sith energy. What are her allegiances to? Eating the a fucking biscuit? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, like, wait, are we back to Din? Yeah, probably, but what the hell does she want? Yeah. Like, is she just sadistic? Because Maybe. she's like, you know, that's why she was probably, she voluntarily went to the Empire. Like, probably. I need something new to occupy my time with. This is how we have survived in exile. It's a secret location, and you are my guest. Wow, so we're going back to the... It will go smoother if you keep your helmet <laughs> on. Trust me. Of course. She's been bathed. Come no further. You are an apostate, did Jaren. No, mean... he's redeemed in the waters of Lake Minot. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> Go purify yourselves in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> I was witness. They don't trust you either. Like, and I did it too, and he witnessed me. Yeah. I am Bo Katan of Clan Crees. Your house has fallen from the way. You were both apostates. We have been to the living waters. Show me your jar. Show me the water. <laughs> They're all like looking at each other. Watch them be like, this water could be from the, that lake right behind. I know. <laughs> like, are we really just gonna buy this water? Like, are we gonna test it? We shall see. They yeah. gotta test they it. They have to test it. Because if not, then it's like. Like, honestly, if they believe it without like more proof than that, like, I would have lost faith in the Mandalorian people. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll do something. Okay. Okay, that looked like something it proved stuff. He speaks okay, the well, nice. By Creed, you too are redeemed. She's like, I take off my helmet though. <laughs> no, so. She like takes it off right now. But I do not <laughs> walk the way. Did you bathe in the waters? And have you removed your helmet since? No, I have not. Then you may join our covert and live as your ancestors once did. Okay, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You may leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> we see her just like take off her helmet. <laughs> well, I guess until we just, you know, wait out this little thing we're dealing with. I'm pretty sure that guy's played by Jon Favreau too, so. Yeah. Which is funny because he actually played pre Vizsla, which they may have had a thing, like bo -Katan and mm -hmm. him. Either that or she just followed him. So this was a very interesting episode. Very unique. <laughs> very unique. I know that you love seeing Coruscant. Oh, I love seeing Coruscant. I will say I was excited to get two new characters introduced, um, but I do think that the pacing with them was slightly long. Yeah, we lingered. But towards the end, though, it was the reveal was awesome. Yeah, I, I don't like that. I don't know Alia, right? Was her name? Yeah, okay. I think Alia Kane. Alia Alia Kane. Alia. I'm just gonna call her Alia. But anyway, so she looks sadistic you know it uh, seems yeah. as though she was just like reveling in the idea that he was being tortured there even though she manipulated the situation to get him caught which is such a, a crazy thing because it's but i don't think like is she just crazy uh, or does I, she have I, I allegiances don't know. to somebody or was it like she presented him as like oh well, look what i caught him doing mm. not i manipulated him into doing it and convinced him but then yeah. is it like a, an extra because that seems like something the empire would do like mm -hmm. like lie to you and manipulate you to get you to do something to then like be like oh well we caught you doing yeah. it not like reintroducing them back into so society i have a couple of thoughts with her um, she could either be advancing her way into the Republic and kind of like elevating herself so that she can mess shit up with whatever she wants to do. She still has allegiances to the Empire or what's left of it, uh, you know, whatever that may be, whether it's Moff Gideon because she did work on the ship. Uh, I still have hope that, you know, the Thrawn is really mm -hmm. kind of pulling the strings of a lot of things here. 
and that we're not going towards Snoke. But uh, one of those two things is like the most prevalent thing in my mind. But also, I don't know, was her motivation to like just advance herself? Or was it like, okay, we need him to start his research again. But then also, he's not doing his research now. And I have no idea what the hell this damn machine is going to do to him. Because yeah, because it's like, if you wanted it, which, which originally, I thought, oh, they probably want him to clone for them again. Mm -hmm. Which made sense. But and now it's like, did you just want to, like, torture somebody? Or yeah. I feel like this machine is going to, because they were like, oh, it's, it's going to help you, blah, blah, blah. It's probably going to make them, like forget almost like a chip to the clones you know like almost yeah. make you kind of forget and be allegiant mm -hmm. only to the new empire mm -hmm. i mean empire <laughs> <laughs> well i said i have issues republic. with this republic uh, yeah i don't know it, well it kind of felt very like i said it during it but the whole time it felt very like orwellian like out of literally out of 1984 mm -hmm. we had some like different ministry stuff going on there and you have to read that book I, anthony kept trying to like get me to say the ending and i yeah. I, I, I literally could not spoil <laughs> the ending of 1984 because I that think was it's one of my favorite endings isn't it literally like the last line that i was trying to get you to spoil or the last page of yeah but you need the context yeah but oh my gosh but i feel like if okay. you know the story of 1984 <laughs> right. and you saw the scene that i was bringing that up and you you know where I was going. Yeah, so, yeah. If you've read it, I'm sure, which I actually haven't. I've just had Casey tell me, like, you know, the clip. You can also version. watch the movie if you want. I haven't watched the movie. I don't want to fully say that Din fell into the water, and I know that's a stupid thing to say, but Din doesn't know that that creature was there. So he may have thought he fell into the water. <laughs> We're still in the and Bo Katan doesn't want to tell him about the mythosaur. So, you know, admitting that it was the mythosaur that pulled him down would just say that, you know, there is a, a creature that pulled you down. You didn't just fall. So I'm not off this. Like, even though it's like so minuscule in the grand scheme Doesn't of this fucking matter. plot, he got pulled. I still am not off that. I still don't understand. <laughs> how he fell so fast and she had to use a jetpack yeah. to get to him in time okay so bo -Katan is not like a part of this group um begrudgingly possibly probably just to, well until they yeah. hide out and then which coast is clear they were like there so somebody was watching them like whether they were keeping tabs on bo -Katan, and then she made her way to mandalore or people were watching mandalore and they saw the ship leaving mandalore and then that's when they followed some way, something was being monitored where these TIE fighters were after Do you think it, they're coming from Alaya? Like, is she going to become, like, she's not the that ultimate high villain? Up. I villain? don't think so. Or whoever she's working for. She's working for some... I, either that, Monty like I said. Thrawn. Hopefully them. Uh, I, yeah, I really, I, I mean, I feel like, obviously, Thrawn is going to be a part of Ahsoka um, at some point in time. So, I don't know if he would be a part of this. Yeah. Yet. It could be a situation where, like, you know, he has... What would he want cloning for? Like, me, this is, like, hoping that, like, there's going to, like, lead to something else that isn't Snoke. Um, but then again, is the cloning even, like, a big deal now? Because are we... There has to be more to the Doctor. Because it's just... Like, why introduce him the, if he's just gonna... The cloning was so emphasized, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. it was, you know, they were after Grogu's DNA. Like, that's, like, the whole plot of it. Like, everything is being connected, and, you know, we just don't have all the pieces just yet. They have to connect back yeah. to Din and Grogu, or else it'd be like, why? Yeah. Also, they were... It's been so long since I've seen the first season. They were... He Din was hired to attain Grogu, yeah. to bring him to Moff Gideon. They knew about Grogu beforehand. Mm -hmm. So... You know, all that time, where was he? Which is going to kind of tie back to what we were questioning before this episode, like, who took him? Like, from that logic, I feel like it's not, a, a like, a dark side person, you know? Mm -hmm. Just because, I guess maybe if their allegiances weren't to, like, the Emperor, so maybe, I guess, in, in that situation, Maul could work out because he fucking hated the Emperor, too. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, you know, I feel like if he was with Maul, wouldn't he just want him to be his apprentice? Because he has a thing with always having an apprentice. Mm -hmm. Maul. Um, but I, I feel like the the best bet maybe is Barris or pro hopefully, obviously, the long shot is uh, Mace Windu. I don't, yeah. I don't feel like That'd it's... That'd be, like, my fan girl excitement yeah i don't feel like it'd be palpatine though like because if it was palpatine he would have had grogu i feel like he wouldn't have put let grogu him. in a situation yeah. where he would have been lost in I the don't first think he place would have let him go yeah so i feel like you know my hope now is that it's something that so who would have known like obviously would no somebody has to have known him he was at the jedi temple he was being trained he obviously, well not obviously, but probably is the son of Yoda. I mean, just who else is out there besides it was him and Yaddle. That's Yano. like Anthony's like thing. How many people He's like, don't Yoda think that? is a hypocrite. He is a fucking hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like Yoda, but he's a hypocrite. Well, like, you don't know if it's his son. I, every Jedi had a thing. Well, not every Jedi, but, you know, Satine had a thing with Obi-Wan. I know they probably did some stuff. I don't know. Obviously, we know Anakin and Padme, Yoda and well, Yaddle. Well, maybe Yoda, well, maybe Grogu's half. Half what? I don't know anything else in the galaxy. I don't know. They look Maybe he just has dominant genes of Yoda. <laughs> okay, so who else was Yoda messing with? <laughs> I'm not saying it didn't have to be Yaddle. Yeah, I mean, it's probably Yaddle or Yaddle or whatever her name is. Yanni, Laurel, <laughs> <Wow>. whatever. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.